There's been a big upset in another key race tonight, District mm -hmm. 7, which had been held by the same person since 2001. John Culberson, the Republican incumbent, facing a tough challenge from Democratic candidate Lizzie Fletcher. And it looks like Fletcher has secured the win. Here's a look at the final numbers. Fletcher with 52% of the vote to Culberson's 48%. Our Sophia Beausoleil live in Upper Kirby with Fletcher supporters. Sophia? <laughs> Well, the place just went into an eruption of cheers as they were watching on TV. NBC News declared Lizzie Fletcher as the winner for the congressional 7th district seat. Now, you can take a look with the room full of supporters. We're expecting Lizzie Fletcher to come in here in the next 10 minutes. She is an attorney by trade. This race has been close all the way through. We spoke with her earlier today. She had said that she was very confident that this would turn out the way that she was predicting. She had predicted it earlier on that she would win. Now, one of the big topics that has come up in this election has been flooding. A lot of people on the west side of Houston had issues during Harvey. They flooded. That's something that she talked about a lot during the campaign trail. Another topic she brought up, health care. She is in support of the Affordable Care Act, and she said that is something a lot of people in her district were very vocal about as well. Earlier tonight, we spoke with a supporter. She said that she was remaining cautiously optimistic. Obviously, that is change since people now know the verdict of what exactly happened here. Now, Fletcher says her goal is to represent the whole district, every single person. She says she feels that she can be that voice for those who feel like they did not have a chance to get their thoughts and opinions across to Congress. So she says that is something she's going to work on. Again, she says she wants to be very proactive when it comes to flooding and mitigation, specifically Braze Bayou and the project there, along with helping and making sure that if something does happen in the future, another hurricane, any type of rain event, that the area is prepared to handle that type of water. But again, we are expecting her in less than 10 minutes. As soon as she walks in here, we will have pictures of her. We know this was a very tough race. Our, my colleague Mario Diaz has been covering uh, John Culberson all evening. And we're, we're hearing cheers. So... Um, they just put her slide up on the big screen, which is on a stage right behind where we're located in the press. And as you can see, people are very excited that she has unseated John Culberson, who has held that position since 2001. It's been a Republican seat for many, many, many years. She, a Democratic challenger, has come in for the major upset in this very, very close election, Bill and Dominique.